President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad then giving a much anticipated speech to the United Nations. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Ahmadinejad. Ahmadinejad addresses the assembly. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Ahmadinejad at the United Nations. Nobody is in prison for just expressing their views. Nobody. Then why all these students, women's rights activists, workers, political dissidents, journalists, human rights lawyers, ethnic and religious minorities, and many other citizens who only asked, where is my vote, are now sentenced to years in prison? <laughs> Ahmadinejad and the Iranian government not only have disregarded freedom of peaceful protest and assembly, but also have undermined the Iranian nation's self-determination right. They have killed, imprisoned, and oppressed the protesters. Women in Iran enjoy the highest levels of freedom. In our parliament, in our government, in our universities, they're present. The Iranian Revolution did greatly expand women's literacy, access to higher education, employment opportunities, and health care. However, women don't have equal rights in Iran. In 2005, women launched the One Million Signatures campaign specifically to try to overturn 10 laws that discriminate against women. Since you've been president, executions in Iran have uh, increased by four times. Did you know that? That's not true. That is not true at all. Not at all. Is there freedom for Mir Hussein Musavi for uh, Mehmet uh, Karoubi, who's under house arrest? Does, do they have the freedom to express their opposition? The judiciary in Iran is independent. I don't have the right to interfere in what judges decide. Ahmadinejad, you and Khamenei are nothing but liars and dictators. You are responsible for the house arrest and the political prisoners, including my father, Issa Sarkhi, who's been in jail for more than three years. I was in the first place, I said, I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. You are going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. I'm going to be a man. Sanctions are complicated, and people don't always understand how they work, but they understand when the price of their food goes up, or when they don't have access to the medicines that they need for survival, or they can't simply send money to a loved one that they're caring for easily because of the sanctions. They understand this deeply and innately to survive. 